Hey guys, this is Steve Coring from the PTC community bringing you another tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial is kind of a beginner copy geom, uh, which is, stands for copy geometry. Um, I'm basically going to take geometry from another part and bring it into another part and use it to add and remove material. Uh, it saves me a lot of time and uh, it's pretty easy to do so I'm going to show you guys how to do that uh, you can see I have a cover here and I have a tank that's going through my cover and uh, these are both solids so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide my machine cover and I'm going to unhide my casting because my casting is what drives my machine cover so I'm going to activate my cover now I'm going to left click on the tank until I pick up a surface and once I do I'm going to hold control and pick up the other surface and I'm going to hit control C control V which is which is copy and paste I'm basically copying pasting that uh, surface from the tank into my cover so if I open my cover up you'll see that I now have the location of the tank as a reference in my um, my casting so you're probably saying well how do we add material using surfaces well this is pretty simple um, basically I know my wall thickness is 18 millimeters so I'm gonna add the inside material first so I'm gonna select the the surfaces that I copied I'm gonna go to edit offset and I'm going to offset the amount of material that I need okay so that surface represents uh, the wall thickness that I'm going to need after I make my cut so what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to come into your inside of your casting and pick up the surfaces that intersect that offset that you just made Then I'm going to do a control C, control V for a copy and paste. Now I have the reason you're doing this is because you, you have to have two surfaces that intersect each other all the way around in order to do um, a merge of those two surfaces and then to do a solidify add material or cut material. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Okay, so I have uh, the surface created for the inside that I need to intersect with the offset that I did. So I'm going to select both of those, go to edit, and I'm going to go to merge. When you go into merge, you're going to see uh, two arrows, and they're basically previewing to you what is going to be uh, created from that merge of those two surfaces that you, that, you, that you copied together. So you can see it gives me different results based on how I uh, in changing the arrows. Now I want to create this material as a solid inside my core or inside my casting so I'm going to hit the green check mark. I'm going to leave it highlighted. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to solidify and up here on the left you'll see there's a add material remove material. So I'm adding this material from those surfaces and I'm hitting OK. So now that material is actually inside my casting and it's solid you'll see because I can fill it, it or radius it and we'll make that uh, make that 20 so now I have the material inside my casting but now I need to cut away a clearance for uh, the outside of my casting and a quick and easy way again is to select the original copy that you brought in go to edit go to offset offset the distance that you want your cut or your clearance from your tank and now I have to select a surf I have to select services to intersect that to create another uh, merge solidify 
So I'm just control left clicking, picking up the surfaces that intersect it. So you can see where they intersect. I'm going to hit control C, control V. And now I have the two surfaces that I want. I'm going to select both of those in my tree and go to edit. And I'm going to merge those. Now again, it's going to bring up, um, you know, what what do you want to do with these the shape and this is exactly what I want this is the material that I want to remove so that's the surface that I wanted to create so I hit OK I select that merge I go to solidify and I'm going to subtract now you'll notice that when I go to subtract there's an arrow here and depending which way you have that arrow it's it's letting you know which way it's going to subtract the material so now I'm gonna I'm gonna put this uh, original copy geom on this layer here and hide the layer so you can see the final product here. Hit OK. I'm gonna hide that later layer and save the status. All right, so this is now 100% uh, complete. Well, except for a fillet, I guess I could put out here. And you'll notice when I go back into my assembly, uh, this is a this is a 100% solid part. There's I use services to create services and uh, copy geom, solidify uh, to create this dent in my cover rather quickly. Um, it was pretty pretty simple. If you have questions, you can uh, always, as usual, uh, ask them in the comment section. But I'm going to go back to my cover assembly. Now you'll notice that this is my casting, so. I'm going to hide my casting and unhide my machine model. Now you're probably saying, oh, it's still interfering. Well, no, it's not because <laughs> I'm going to regenerate it. And my cover updated and you can see I have my clearance and I have my material on the inside and everything is perfect. Now if you're wondering how I created um, the cover in the casting machined, uh, there's a tutorial I have where I explain how I link the two models, but I'll quickly show you. If you go into my, I always start with a casting. So I want my casting to always drive my machine model. So this is my casting model. When you open up um, my machine model, at the very top of the tree, you're going to see an external merge ID. Well, all that is is if you go to insert, shared data, merge inheritance, you actually can select a file like your casting as your first part. You'll see it uh, brings up a window here. This is my casting in this window. This is the first part in this uh, part file. So what ends up happening is whenever I change my casting, it updates here. And the only thing I care about in my machine model is that I have my cuts for my machining. Uh, it makes for an easier uh, drawing when you go to do your machine drawing so that's typically why I set my models up that way. Um, and then it, you know down the road uh, this is a good example of how those changes are easily controlled. I know that anything that affects uh, the casting you know is going to be in the casting from I won't have to dig around and look in the machine model for that cut. I know it's going to be in my my casting part of my model. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Um, I hope you learned a little bit about surfaces and how they work. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always comment and rate the video, and uh, and I'll and I'll answer them as best I can. Thanks.